construction. So many, uh, so many people that are putting a hand on this truck, and it's, it's so cool to see it there. Ready so for more Season 5 back, events? But, uh, this weekend, aboard the Concha Del Mar, it's dime time, where sharing is caring. Rack up those assists and rake in the rewards. City dwellers, listen up, because the Adidas Basketball Open Run is back. Earn a win on all four courts, and you'll earn 10,000 VC, exclusive My Player items, and free skill boosts. Let's look forward to next weekend. The Concha Del Mar hosts Deck Party. All games played on Deck 15 will earn double XP. Meanwhile, the city celebrates the 90s. If your My Player is a 90 overall or above, this is the event for you. That's it for me. Now hit the courts and get to level 40. Oh. Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, and giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Tobias Harris, since he was 10 years old, has spent the summer training with George the Iceman Gervin in San Antonio. Harris said, having him in my ear has helped my game and made me love the game even more. And Gervin says, I'm his coach as far as putting that ball in the hole. He's a good student too. Kevin? David, that's one of my most favorite stories you've ever told from our sideline. Thank you for that. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. They've got Tobias Harris. Gary Trent is out there with Damian Lillard. Then it's David Wobble. And it's Harrell in at the center. And for the Sonics. Fournier out there with Doncic. Then it's Williams. Then there's Miles Bridges. And it's Middleton in at the small forward. And for teams already exceeding expectations, Greg, their spirits are running sky high right now. And it's such a great feeling to come out strong. But, but it's hard to maintain that consistency. Point. The teams that do, they believe in themselves and they keep playing to their strength. Now, oh, here's Dunn. Yo, that was cool. Pass to Fournier. Here's Bridges. What's up? It's holding the little here. thing he did when I had one to tip. Who will bring it up for the 76ers? <laughs> Trent can't hit. Now, here's Doncic. Really played well against Houston in his last outing. Let's go. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton, known as very capable. Oh no, I was 12 of 13. Is the great confidence he has in the last game with Donkey. Trent gets the win. Cheater, cheater, Pockinator. No. From downtown. No good on that one. Pockinator. Uh huh. Cheater, cheater. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Out to Doncic. Over Hill. And that one's good. Doncic. You know, Luke is one of those players where the mid-range shot is really a weapon for him. Not just an afterthought. I mean, he is lights out from that distance. Lillard, the pass to Harrell. And it's good ah, assisting on the play with Lillard. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, this should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Fournier, the dish to Doncic. Williams inside, Nwaba defending. Yep, it counts. Showing that aggressive nature. Williams competes <laughs> hard, doesn't back down, and he'll let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contact. Boy, you talk about 3 and D, guys. Middleton is the epitome of that player. Great range, mid-range game, can defend multiple uh, positions. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> now, here's Doncic. Sorry. After the miss from Damian Lillard. Mix it down to Middleton. Okay, that's all that. Only one miss in the first five attempts, clearly feeling 
You know, Clark, many view Middleton as the prototypical perimeter point. I would not disagree at all. <laughs> he does everything and does it all well. Ah. Yeah, that's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Last game for Seattle, they picked up the W against Houston. Doncic kicks to Fournier. Pass to Williams. Oh, and the king yeah. Williams. Nice job at sizing up mm -hmm. the defense in these sets. Fournier dependable at making the right pass. Alert against Doncic. Right wing. Why would you leave him up? Three. And it's okay, Love Anderson. Seattle leading by seven. Middleton outside. Fournier in the corner. Pass to Bridges. Kicks it to Doncic. Shoots over Lillard. And good. That's the end of that time as it falls. Oh, great ball movement there. The 76ers trail by nine. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Trent. Here's Harold. Gets the second chance bucket. Harold's got his third basket of the night. Harold is an elite offensive rebounder. He's actually one of my favorite guys to watch work the glass. Doncic dishes to Fournier. The pass to Bridges. Middleton looking it over. Just five to shoot. It's Fournier on the wing. And another three for Seattle. Evan defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Here is Lillard following Evan Fournier's three. And Lillard kicks to Nwaba. Bridges against Harris. Shoots over Bridges. Harris. Good. So he's an elite shooter with a Time lot of sweet spots. Defenses have to mark and keep an eye on Harris from mid range. And the first time out of the game called for Seattle. Boom. And along with terrific production, Harris is an interesting team leader. Very positive in his approach. Here's Rozier, and Greg Harris has grown more vocal as his comfort level on the team has risen. And Kevin, he's always had it in him. Now that he's a player, ah. he's earned the right. He always seems to bring the guys together. Here's Hurt. There we go. And it's Terry Rozier with a three. Hey, what the this is the kind of start they were hoping. All right. Yes, yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Outside, Jones. Outside, Martin. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. It's Jones on the wing. Guarded by Harris. Oh my gosh. What? Rose made the first shot. Nice. Barker right side. Second shot opportunity, and it's Jones laying it in. Good focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Towards a shot good. Yes, you are. They don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave over. Two minutes remaining. Now, the here's Rogier. Green inside. He's against Martin. He's off on that one. The 76ers trail by 10 for three. Harris. A quick back. Green with the rebound. And so Green will bring it up for the Supersonics. Jones, the best to Herder. Jones against Rogier. To the paint. And Jones gets it to go in. And the assist by Rogier. Jones has got his second basket. 
You know what's funny? What? Grace Al is my highest scorer last game. Oh. Huh. Duarte's got a second bucket tonight. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Green kicks to Rozier. I didn't mean to shoot that. Off target from three point range. I was the trying to pump fake. Trail by ten. Jones looking for an opening. On the wing, Harris. Oh, I just made a three with Conchar. The lead is down huh. inside single digits. Harris has got five points so far. You know, the mindset Harris has is one that allows him to be ready to shoot as soon as that ball touches that his hand. Catching five. And here's Green outside. That one's in. He's in the game. He's one for two. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Lighting it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Oh no! Trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA. Right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves yeah, to step foul. up, take the Danny initiative, Green. and make something happen. First personal foul called on first Danny Green. Foul. That's his first foul. For your Supersonics, Rajon Rondo. Here's Harris and Jones. Oh, my God. possession. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And he's going to make a change here. Wayne Ellington. Duarte. Hey, welcome to the stream. Hello. I like that block. Jones over Rondo. And so it's the end. What? In the driver's seat. Up in the end of the quarter. Uh, shooting the ball so yeah. well on this one. A great performance from the field. We've got more in store for you right after this. the player who combines excellence on the court along with cooperation and being recognized for giving your time but also making other people's job easier um, I take a lot of pride in that the same way I take pride in my teammates doing well and my coaches doing well at their job I take pride in the local media being able to do their job and uh, give insight and, and give a better look into what our team is doing is well deserving and well liked certainly some of the most open and thoughtful answers you'll hear comfortable with a microphone whether it's a press conference or a recording studio he's got quotes and bars and Get stuff. Again for tuning in if you're just joining us we played through one quarter of action so far and what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Seattle boy the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. So with Willard on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. Martin is out there with Tobias Harris. Then it's Jones. And it's Duarte in at the two. Jones kicks to Martin. Four on the shot clock. Goes up from the top of the key. Ah, should have closed in on him. Martin's got his Oops. first points in this one. Passes it to Herter. Looking for Ibaka. He gets it there. And here is Ellington. That's now on the pass. Too. Here's Jones. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Attacking in transition. Chris, the most consistent there. way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Jones, the pass to Ellington. Jones in the post. Nifty move. And the layup 
Rivers up and in. Jones has got his third bucket of the night. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen. Timeout, timeout. And he gets to the 76ers. And the 76ers decide to take their first timeout here. And you look at the 2021 draft class, just some unbelievable talent at the top. I mean, Kane Cunningham, for me, probably is the consensus best player. But, man, you got guys like Ooh, what a block. And Kaminga with that rare athleticism. And how about Mobley? He really defines what a modern-day big is supposed to be. I mean, what more could you want? Into the lineup for Philadelphia. On defense, the Supersonics. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. The pass to Nwaba. It's Trent on the wing. Shot clock at five. Off the mark here with the three point shot. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. And Doncic gets it to go. You know, as I watch Doncic, I think it's futile to try to distract this guy. His focus and concentration and control of himself is um, excellent. Good. I get it. Uh, when shot. the big man has those soft hands, rarely nice any problem converting that close to the rim. Middleton <laughs> outside. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Fournier yeah. with the ball. Lillard picks him up. Here's Williams. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Man, I can't believe... He blew that gimme, guys. Oh, I know he's frustrated Evan about that. And the call is his foul. Foul. First team that is foul. his first foul of the game. Here's Willard. And oh, he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Dungeons. First personal foul. Second team foul. Damian Lillard. I'll put it in my pocket. Second Sixers. Damian Lillard. In the lead in 2012. Nobody has more makes in the last 20 seconds of a game to tie or go ahead. Nobody. That free throw good from Lillard. And the list of players with multiple series clinching buzzer beaters in the playoffs. Michael Jordan and Damian Lillard. And with a little Bon Voyage wave of the hand for good measure, Dame time is as real as it gets. The free throw is good from Lillard. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Anjic passes to Middleton. To Doncic and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for Doncic. Doncic has got eight points. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Hartenstein <laughs> passes to Lillard. Ah. Steps back and drains the jump shot. How about that? that was a beautiful three, whoever that was. Players able to pull off just sensational stuff. Outside Fournier. On the wing, Bridges. Over Harrell. And there's Bridges on the assist from Fournier. And the Sonics lead by nine. You know, we've seen Bridges knock down threes, but I think this is his sweet spot. That 15 to 19 foot range. Jumps up. Slam that. And yeah. Williams with the jam. Oh. Oh, yeah. Break away. Don't. Doncic against Lillard beyond the arc. Offensive rebound. Martinstein. Swat it. With the block. And the reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to yeah. Yeah. He's 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 he into his own head. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, 
I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Lillard outside. Tries it for 19. And that Did one off the back of the rim. And, in. and yeah, that's now tries. six points for Lillard. Seattle leading by 11. Middleton outside. Back to Doncic. Pass to Williams. Outside Fournier. Over Harrell. Here's Bridges. On the money with the open jumper. Bridges has got the lead up to 13 now for the Sox. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. They get a hand on it. Bridges with the steal. And pushing it up is Seattle. Doncic finds Williams. Middleton with it. Doncic outside. Outside Fournier. Williams trying to break free. And again, Seattle with the triple. Evan Fournier. Boy, Fournier is an excellent shooter from distance, and that really helps his team face the floor. Now, Trent. No points in the game yet for him. That's the three fly. No good that time. And he goes the other way with it. And it's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that. Fournier best two Williams. Two and it's Williams two finishing it off. They have the cover Frenchman. Fournier solid at recognizing when the defense isn't covering one of his teammates. Time out for the Philadelphia calls time here. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Big group substitution here for Seattle. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Robert Williams. Green comes in for Miles Bridges. Rozier, he's checked in for Fournier. Arjan Rondo subbed in for Luka Doncic. Outside Rondo, yeah. he dishes it to Green. Yeah. Rozier against Harris. Here's Ibaka and the rejection. Ah, I waited too late. Here's Jones. That one's off. Still out of sync. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Seattle. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. High post shot. And the rebound goes to Martin. The shot's there for him. And he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Jones, the pass to Harris. Over Rondo. Harrell trying to free himself up. Harris misses. So for Philadelphia, their last game, a win against the Brooklyn Nets. And Middleton kicks to Green. Rondo dishes to Ibaka. Over in the corner, Rozier. Just five on the clock. Shoots a three. And Rondo with the basket on the assist by Rozier. An assist like that have typified their effort today. Terrific. Ball move. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. There's a four second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. It's good. Tobias Harris has got seven points. And you know, this team relies on Tobias Harris to score the ball, especially from these spots on the floor. Rogier kicks to Middleton. Over Harris. Middleton can't get it to go. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating. Yeah, I mean, with the defense now busting, and he still misses. Boy, he wishes he had that one back. And so it's Seattle taking a 19-point lead into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Doc. I heard you imploring your team stick to the game plan and know your personnel. What's that mean? Yeah, we keep messing up coverages. You know, I get messing up on some guys, but that can't happen, but it did. So we just got to move it forward. 
We'll see if the communication picks up. Thanks, Doc. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. Taking a look at the Supersonics, Kenny, what was your impression? There was no shortage of dimes on this team last year. Numerous guys just played good court vision, moved the ball, that's a great shot. They had full control of this game. And Shaq, what'd you think about Philadelphia? When you look at their multiple areas of weakness, for this organization, chaos, a lot of wide open looks. They have to communicate wow. to stay connected to the shooters. Huh? That contrary dude, Jesus. I told you. I think I haven't missed yet. Dang. Not with him, anyway. Yeah. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested uh -oh. in just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had. Yeah, Cruz got the red on him. Bridges oh. out there with Chris Middleton. Then it's Evan Fournier. Then there's Doncic, and it's Williams at the foul spot. And that's who Mark Daniels ah. starts the second half. And guys, not much more a defender can do in that situation. Harrell with the focus and the strength to just power through the contact. Here's Bridges. Williams trying to break free. Bridges shot. Good. Bridges has got six. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Lillard attacking. Oh, stuff. The block. Here's the break. Fournier finds Middleton. Jacks up a three. And Evan Fournier with a three. Evan Four Fournier. points in the game so far. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. And growing up just outside of Paris, Evan Fournier got hooked on the NBA back in 2002, watching that classic Kings-Lakers conference final series. And Greg, we hear that story from other international players as well. I mean, guys like Evan who grew up in Europe watching NBA basketball. You gotta give Adam Silver, and even before him, David Stern, the prior commissioner, a lot of credit for growing the league international. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. Boys, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing. Time call for Philadelphia. And you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. And Philadelphia comes to here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And the Super Sonics making the change here. And Jones is checking in. Here's Lillard. Six points for him. Pass to Trent. To end the run. And foul yeah, on the foul. shot. So he'll get a chance yeah, at the line. Change. Second and I still can't foul. get over how First strange it foul. is seeing Damian Shooting Lillard in a jersey other Damian than Lillard. the Blazers. Two shots. One of the biggest trades of the past few years. This team felt that Lillard was the missing piece to get them over the top. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. During the seeding games in the 2020 bubble, Damian Lillard carried the Blazers to the playoffs. I mean, Dame averaged 37 a game. That included a ridiculous 61 point explosion. Whoa. Huh. I've got three blocks. 
Nice. And that one goes in. Two from the line. 21 assists. What the heck? Hey. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for Seattle. It's Fournier on the wing. Gosh, Zach. Huh. I thought I was winning by a lot. I don't know what it is, man. I, I was pulling away before the end of the second quarter, but I ain't up by 15. He's hot, might as well shoot with him. Evan Fournier's got 12 in the game. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. On the wing, Bridges. Covered by Lillard. Fournier pass to Williams. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Here's Bridges, and it's good off the back rim and in. Bridges has got six points in the quarter. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Here's Harris. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And there's the foul. It's on Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges. That's his first, first foul. personal foul. And they have come first out of halftime in Fuego. And a chance Three. there to look back at the yeah. stunning yeah. mobile one block a moment ago. And big defensive plays like that will help them. <laughs> the of this one. Isaiah Hartenstein is checked in for Montrez here. Philadelphia's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Passes it to Harris. Now the pass to Hartenstein. Lillard outside. Six to shoot. Bridges with the steal. Fournier finds Williams. Harris against Bridges. Jones looking for an opening. This is Dodonchich. I'm on a 9 nothing run to start the second half. Nice. He's got 15. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Supersonics. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. And also, I've been extremely impressed with their interior D. Their rim protection has been as good as it gets. And the basket by Jones. Jones has got five points now in the quarter. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. LeBron almost smacky. Lillard outside. Misses in the dry spell. Okay, Zach, good God, you ain't got to murder them. Yeah, dude. A really ugly game. Yeah. Got you up by 40. I'm afraid to see what you're going to do to me. <laughs> I locked Damian Lillard down. I put the clamp on him. I've locked Kyrie Irving down. Nice. How many... Let's see. Yeah, Damon Lillard only has eight. First bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. You know, this is why you run the offense through Damian Lillard. I mean, sure, he's going to get his, but he's also going to make sure others get theirs, too. Here's Williams. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Another bucket down. Yeah, I've shut Whiteside down to six points. Nice. Taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Yeah, Kyrie Irving's got 14. But... Good at one mm. end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. And there's the foul. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, oh, it balls. Reach. Second, Second team foul. Kevin Herter now comes in for 48. Martin's checked in for the 76ers. Tyus Jones comes in for Gary Trent.
two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Outside, Jones. Find the shoot. It's rebounded by Herter. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Back to Williams. Ah, what? And stolen by Lillard. Lillard's not as tall as him. How did Lillard snatch that? that? That one's not going to go. Nice team from Dodger. Okay. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this quarter. Man. Williams passes to Herter. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Herter's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Pass to Martin. Back to Lillard. 58 seconds left to play in the third. Williams with the clock. To the middle. Here's Jones. Yeah. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and haven't slowed down yet. An outstanding defensive play to earn the Mobile One block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Here's Martin. Ah. And finished off by Martin. The finish was nice, Jones but couldn't get the out. setup Cooking was up. better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look. And that's exactly how you draw it up. Here's Doncic. Count it. Doncic has got nine points in the quarter. Boy, from the moment he entered the league, Doncic has been an immediate star, capable of big nights just about any time he's on the court. Mm. Damn, yeah. in the train. Their three-point percentage has a taken a big lead there. here in this second half. And their lasers are starting to do their thing. I mean, that's going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Pastor Ellington for the three. Gets it to go from yeah, beyond the arc. Ellington's got six. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the season. Really, Nasir Little? He finishes with nine points in the quarter. I was shooting a ball. He done a loose ball foul. Dang. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of team right that. there, guys. I mean, what huh. great communication between They're probably crying over there. <laughs> For me, next to the big time alley oops and my be no. like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA highlights. Quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade, all fueled up here for the fourth quarter. And so, in the game for the 76ers, they've got Jones, and Stevenson is out there with Martin. Then there's Moses Brown. The and it's Duarte in at the shooting guard. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size of this match right at the rim. Jones kicks to Stevenson. We've heard the calls for more diversity among our coaches, Greg. With the turnover this offseason came a lot of opportunity. Hey, Kevin, that's really what it's all about, right? The league's values of diversity and inclusion have been really pushed to the forefront. And I think that's one of the reasons why our game is so popular. Perry. Because it is so interesting. Ah, yeah. There shouldn't be much debate there. Late to contact. Straight I found. Simple. All Two shots. Balls. Oh, booty. First free throw is good. Rogier, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. Good 
Good on both. Mm, what a block. And here's Jones. Nice. One minute now into this fourth quarter. And the rejection by Ibaka. And look, he's been the NBA's leader in blocks multiple times. Ibaka just hey, has that rare instinct for him. And I really, I want to see more of that from him. I mean, he's been passing up on his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones that he takes. Back to Jones. Here's the teardrop. And it's plucked by Ibaka. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Ibaka. In for Philadelphia. The 76ers making a change here. Rounds checked in. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Duarte passes to Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. And they ah. Here's Duarte. That three okay. off the mark. They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react. And that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. Now, here's Ellington, defended by Jones. Here's Ibaka. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Assisted by Reggie Perry. Killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean... That's weird to say green, yellow, is that? Oh, yeah, I know. With some physicality in the paint. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Ibaka. Here's Rozier. And it takes that one out and powers it through. Rozier has an open court in front of him. This guy is dangerous. Great quickness. And it's I missed the super sign the being in the league. <laughs> Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Duarte. They need ah. this. Yep. Oh, no, that thing. Chris in time is passing to make that pass as possible. I'll take the Kadoo for What? Wait, that ain't Giannis. Who's that? Another three for Seattle. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their play. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the button. Here's Torche. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Oh, gosh. And this offense, the Summer League was back in Las Vegas, Greg. And that's where you're from. That's where you played. How pleased are you to see your hometown become a mecca for the game in the offseason? Oh, it, it is such a proud moment for me. Born and raised here. Ah. Coming up here. And, and quite honestly, I'm just thrilled that we've had the Summer League again. After what we've gone through, partner. It is just a breath of fresh air to get back to focusing on the little things. Here's Jones, and it's Damn. And that's on about the Gosh. Retain possession. He stuffed it. Round the pass to Arte. There's the try. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. On the wing, Ellington. Looking for a Ibaka. He gets it there. Shoots over Brown. And oh. it's blocked by Brown. And he recovers it. Three-pointer Ellington. That's good. And it's Rogier with the assist. Rogier's got his third assist on the night. Three pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. You know, the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot, not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out shoot out this team. Outside, Jones. It's hauled in by the Sonics. 
and he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. Here's Stevenson, banked in off the glass. Stevenson. Stevenson's got four points this quarter. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. For Seattle, they've gone seven of nine from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Rondo kicks to Ellington. And again, Seattle with the triple. This is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Here's Jones. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. Rajon First team foul. Well, Greg, for those of us who have never played in the league, what's it like traveling Shooting all over the country Jay over the Jones. course of a long regular season? At the line for two. On, Kevin, I bet you had a nice J back in the day. But seriously, it's a whirlwind tour, man. Sometimes you don't even know what city you wake up in. And I can tell you there have been many times where I'm going back to the front desk complaining because my key didn't work and only to find out I was using the wrong key. And Seattle making a change here. Herders checked in. Martin's checked in for the 76ers. And so Jones nails both of them. And in this era of player empowerment, Clark, do you think star players have ever had more leverage than they do today? No question they have not. With social media, the platforms players have been able to build, the following the NBA has, not just domestically, but globally, all of that has converged to give players a significant amount of power. And not to discount the fact that players are more aware and educated in so many of the business aspects of the game than I've ever seen them. And that's um, an encouraging sign from my perspective. Here's Martin. Count that one. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Seattle has gotten in the groove from three-point range. They are two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Since the third quarter ended. Here's Ibaka, and it's blocked by Brown. Brown outside. One forty-three left in the fourth quarter, and they double up Brown. Brown outside, and it's Brown missing. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, I'm crushing blowout big time dominance and and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for seattle there's one sided as it gets today you know there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team yeah, yeah, i mean Martin. kevin I, it's hard to think of what Bruce didn't Brown. go right for them uh game planning by the coaches execution by the players everything was just on target and every win important and this one will go down as win number three and so they win their first game against the squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And what a huge standout performance it was for Luka Doncic. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. And it's just competing, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Second chance shot, Brown, good. Moses Brown. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Rondo passes to Ellington. And the three off target. It's tipped. Huh? Get that out of here, bruh. Nobody wants to see that. Back to Rondo. From the arc. It's off. So no problem for Seattle as they get the win. It was a tail of two teams tonight. Oh. It was a total control operating flawlessly. Whoa. Searching for answers that they could never Who? find. Who? I'll eat that. The end is just... So huh? Who so that? Who that? Really I have player. no idea. Is that Johnson? The reason I suck, I've got bench players, like, players with no minutes playing. You know, sucking and winning. 
Uh, nice I was. Uh, Congrats on the win. Can oh, they the scored ten the points to my two. To next game. Mm. Well, I think we're just going to approach the game like we have been these last games. We've been playing very hard, moving the ball, um, and playing great defense. So if we approach it like that, I think we'll win. Thanks again for your time, man. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about LeBron James. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you later. What happened? Huh? What happened? They done a flagrant one. Oh. Uh, they jerked DeMarcus Cousins to the ground. Oh. Whoa. That was crazy. Get out of here. Zachary, am I reading this right? What? 100% from both? No. That was in the third quarter. Oh. I was getting ready to say. I was 16 for 16 in the third quarter. I was 75. Yo, LeBron James had 32. Nice. Yeah, 75% for the game. 75? Yeah. God. <laughs> I was 85% from three-point land. <laughs> Look, uh, Grayson now had my second high score. That's oh, unreal. Yeah. I could play like that with him. I oh, don't yeah. understand look, that. Look who's second in mine.
And I wasn't even trying to score with him. Wait, I don't even see nothing. What? My thing must be behind. There it goes. Oh. Uh, what the? Yeah. That's weird. Wayne Ellington. And Derek Jones Jr., he's not a starter. Dang, everybody scored. Huh. Good Lord, look at this. LeBron James, 13 of 14. Whoa. Grayson Allen, 8 of 10. Derrick Rose, 8 of 10. Harrison Barnes, 3 of 6. You know, I didn't shoot many threes that game. That was weird. Uh, how many did I shoot? I think it was 17. Oops, wrong one. Almost half of those was... I shot 66%. Mm. Hey, I shot 37% from the three-point line. Who had the most... Good grief. Robert Williams had four blocks. Oh. Good grief, I ain't. Scout squared a team. That's badly since 20. How many assists do you have? Uh. 35. I'm averaging 32 a game. I got 41 this game. Nice. Yeah, I pass the ball around too much, I think. No, that's not a bad thing. Defensive. 34 defensive rebound. Good God. Oh, yeah, you beat me. I had 34 total rebounds. My biggest lead was 33. Nice. Okay, that's nothing in the books. I actually, I'm actually enjoying this game more than I do 21 now. Yeah, I've got used to it. This one's more enjoyable. This one's like 20. 20 was... I enjoyed it a lot. I just wish there was more defensive stuff. Like this, that's all I like about this one. There's more defensive stuff. I could I traded Contavious Caldwell Pope for John Gonchar. So that was that was that was a good trade. Ah, nice. Wait a minute. Oh, that's all I was gonna look at. Yeah. Good grief. What? I was seeing how much I outscored them in the third. Twenty six. Good grief. Wait, what did I do in the second? Uh. Oh, that was weird. The first and second quarter, I shot the same percentage. I was, I was shot 11. I mean, I shot at 16. I hit 11. Whoa, that is weird. All but one quarter, I took 16 shots. Every quarter. That, that is weird. The only difference was this fourth quarter I shot 17. Whoa, San Antonio Spurs scored 126. Oh. Good God. What? Did you switch the, uh... The I think minutes? I did. The computer minute, what I meant to say. Nope. There's 12 minutes. Eh. I know what hurt my feelings if left it like that, but we'll probably get outscored a lot and stuff. Oh, uh, you may drop it to eight? Basically, I outstated is what I should say. Drop it to eight? You can. Okay, it's eight now. Let me know when you get in here and I'll... Uh, 
move a day. Um, you could do it up to the 25th. My next game's the 26th. All right, so same like this one. Ooh, they got, oh, they got Gary Payton. Oh, boy, they got DeRozan. Keldon Johnson. Oh. Jared Allen. Colin Sexton. Wait, are you playing the Warriors? No? She made this one. Now we're up to date. Nice. All snap. Mm. I'm the only undefeated in the East. Already? Whoa, you have a lot. Huh? You have three other teams with you that's undefeated. Jeez. <laughs> I think I picked the harder conference. Ugh. I don't know. I guess we'll see as the season goes on. <laughs> oh. Yay. Okay. Oh. All right, you got a game on Monday. Monday, Tuesday, I'll play Golden State twice in one week. You play the Lakers on Tuesday. I'm already at Wednesday. Oh, okay. Or my next game is the 30th. I know I play you. Oh, the 26th. And I play you. Dang, our games are kind of close when we actually do play. Dang, we only play each other twice. Oh, we both play on Friday. Uh. <clears throat> Let's see what other... Ah, uh, darn it. Let's see what other things I got. I don't know, that one's just too dark. Right, the court's just too dark. I don't like that one. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I want to see if they had. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this. If you're on my stream. Indeed I am. Space Jam. Yeah. I like that. Whoa, that's uh that hurts the eyes. Uh Which one? This one. I didn't got to turn my things behind. You'll see it. Oh gosh. Yeah, no, no. Ooh, what's this one? <clears throat> That's a nice court. I like that one. I wish they made the jerseys this like the space jam one. I'm just curious. I guess we could text Aaron. Oh, <clears throat> I like that court. They did make one. Oh, I like that. Oh, I really like that. Wow. Oh. 
Wait, what about Aaron? Oh, as if he was on. Ah. Uh, we could. I'm into this, though. <laughs> well, make up your mind. <laughs> if you don't play this, don't let text him. They made. Maybe we can make some stool. Uh, stool. It's a cool stuff. <laughs> it's a cool stuff. <laughs> On here, but the, most of what they make is uh, on like PC. Is how they make this.
Brillo. Brillo. Ah. What are you doing, Zach? <laughs> Texting Aaron. Oh, God. <laughs> he, uh... I guess he had a newer one, but he just ain't never pulled it out. And he said he's got an update Fortnite on it. <laughs> I was like, oh, gotcha. He said, give me a minute. <laughs>
<laughs> must be nice. Just have a new Xbox just sitting around and never even pulled out and played it. The new Xbox. <laughs> oh, why's he gotta do that? Oh, I don't don't know. he have one? I think he's got uh, an older one from the Series X. So I guess the one? I don't know. I forget which one's near. I think, no. I thought one was the newer one. I don't know. Easy. Come to me. <laughs> what? Come to me, ice cream cone. Where? Where? I don't know what to play now. <laughs> Rear place in NASCAR. Oh. Do what? Alright y'all, I'm in the stream. Uh, I'm not sure which game I'm going to next. <laughs> but I will decide shortly. Peace.